Welcome back. One final point before we go. If Republicans can't beat this lineup of liberals, that's just sad. Look at what we're up against. We should be winning everything. I wouldn't pick this team if I wanted to lose. Yet Republicans have lost on border wall funding, on Planned Parenthood funding, on truly repealing Obamacare, on Trump's immigration moratorium, on sanctuary city funding, you name it. Look at who's beating them. Hillary Clinton, the crook. A personal account or a government account. I did not send classified material and I did not receive any material that was marked or designated classified, which is the way you know whether something is, what your Bernie Sanders, the socialist. If you, if you would present it in a way that it isn't the government running the economy, that you might get a hearing on it. But unfortunately, you know, socialists, and you're one of those, want the government to I'm run the economy. I'm a democratic socialist, yeah. yeah. Maxine Waters, the nut. And I will fight every day until he is impeached. Impeach 45. Impeach 45. Impeach 45. Tom Perez, the maniac. Everybody's the program. I don't care. Yeah. I don't Susan Rice, the Benghazi liar turned queen of unmasking, who refuses to testify in the Senate. But based on the best information we have to date, what our assessment is as of the present is in fact what it began spontaneously in Benghazi uh, as a reaction to what had transpired some hours earlier in Cairo, where of course, as you know, uh, there was a violent protest outside of our embassy uh, sparked by this uh, hateful video. Debbie Wasserman Schultz, the disgraced former DNC chair who unrepentantly rigged the Democratic primary against Bernie Sanders. That the DNC uh, was not running a fair operation, uh, that they were supporting Secretary Clinton. So what I suggested to be true six months ago turns out, in fact, to be true. For a variety of reasons, Debbie Wasserman Schultz uh, should not be chair of the DNC. Keith Ellison, the black nationalist sympathizer, this is what Ellison said about Louis Farrakhan. Quote, Louis Farrakhan is a role model for black youth. Keep in mind, Farrakhan is the same man who thinks Jews have too much power in the United States, who thinks 9-11 was an inside job, who thinks Hitler was a very great man, and who thinks white people are a race of devils. Keith Ellison, deputy DNC chair, thinks Louis Farrakhan is a good role model for black youth. Republicans are being beaten by Donna Brazile, the cheater, who sneaked Hillary Clinton questions before a town hall event and then admitted she did that. This is what Brazile said. She said, my job was to make all our Democratic candidates look good, and I worked closely with both campaigns to make that happen, but sending those emails was a mistake I will forever regret. The Republicans are losing to the team that boasts Loretta Lynch, Bill Clinton's BFF. It was that meeting between Bill Clinton and Loretta Lynch on that tarmac in Arizona that prompted James Comey to go public with his investigation into Hillary because, you know, conflict of interest. And of course, Kamala Harris, the abortion groupie, the woman who raided David Daleiden's apartment and confiscated his videotapes that exposed Planned Parenthood's aborted baby body parts business. At the same time, Ms. Harris had a donation tab on her website to support Planned Parenthood. These are the people who are leading the Democratic Party, a crook, a socialist, a nut, a maniac, a liar, a cheater, a black nationalist, sympathizer, and a corrupt feminist who puts abortion before justice. Republicans are losing to this? Come on, guys, do a little bit better. We've got Obamacare, we've got ISIS, we've got high taxes. Stand up to these people and get rid of them. And that's my final point tonight. You can reach me on Twitter at Liz underscore Wheeler. If you liked the show, please send me an email at oann.com slash contact. In the meantime, catch us here tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern. And until then, have a good night.